We anticipate that in 10 years from now, there will be the first flights to Mars, and then we eventually will be able to ship our first greenhouse. The goal of our company is to design regenerative habitats for any planet. Um, so it's for Mars, but it's also first for Earth. So for the 10 coming years, basically, we're going to build different stations on this planet where we can regenerate things. So produce the food, recycle the water, recycle the waste in a completely closed loop system. And I figured that the technology that we need to settle on another planet were very similar to the system and technology we need right now on Earth regarding all the problems that we have with pollution, climate change and become more sustainable. So I make the link between living on a different planet and learning how we can live better on this planet. So the first station, as I said, we're planning on opening it for the general public uh, at the end of 2021, early 2022. Each station, so it's designed for 100 people and it's open for scientists, astronauts, and as I said, the general public. So it means everybody will be able to come and to join for a week or maybe two, maybe three, depends on the programs. And you join, you leave everything from this world to go to another world. And I'm at, at, at a very interesting position because myself, by training, I am an investor and I've been helping entrepreneur and I, and I know how to build you know business plan, how to build an investment strategy. But my passion is in science and engineering. And the type of company that we're building, it's very complicated. It's a very mixed crowd of people that we're working with. Within the team, we have architects, scientists, designers, engineers. And you need, as a founder, someone who's able to talk to them, to understand them, to guide them, and to keep the direction. One of the main reasons why um, uh, we're doing uh, Interstellar is to try to bring as much hope for the future uh, as possible that we can to everybody. Um, it's not only about building places where technology, nature and human live in harmony, um, but it's also to try to make people more aware of how they action influence the biosphere that we're living in. What we hope is that when people will go to the station, they will realize how impactful all of their action that they're making has on the overall system. So by integrating that, we hope that maybe people will change their behavior when they go back to the real world. 